What's up? Happy Bowtie Friday. I'm Austin Griffith. I want to show you the Punk Wallet. So the Punk Wallet is a web wallet, but it's Wallet Connect first, and it's super forkable. So anybody who's looking to build a wallet, anybody who uh, wants to make quick transactions, wants to be able to just have a quick, fast wallet where they can quickly send some L2, some ETH, whatever you got, uh, it's an EVM compatible, very forkable web wallet with Wallet Connect first. What do I mean by that? Let's just get into it. All right, punkwallet.io. If you hit up punkwallet.io, oh, look at this green guy. All right, so we've got green guy, oh, and a nice green blocky too. So what it does is it generates you a deterministic punk for each account. You can see here as I'm generating these new uh, Ethereum accounts, I'm getting you know a nice blocky and then a nice uh, uh, punk over the top of that, right? Okay, so let's just go back to Green Guy here. What a what a great uh, what a great little punk wallet. So Green Guy uh, is this address, right? And I can click it and copy that address. So then if I go to the punk wallet on my phone, I can quickly and easily send funds. So I've got oh I've got another zombie on my phone. Let's pick a different one. Let's let's keep let's keep generating until we find a, a fun one. What's a what's a good punk? What's a good punk? Come on, give us something. Ooh, eye patch. How about eye patch? Pinky eye patch. Okay, pinky eye patch. You're up. You're up. So we've got uh, we've got zombie, and this is my punk, right? So this is the same thing on mobile. Punkwallet.io. Add it to your home screen. Quick and easy to grab and send funds around. I'm gonna send some ETH here. So I'm gonna hit scan. I'm gonna hit allow. I'm gonna scan that, and now we'll see on my phone that it shows. Look at that. It's eye patch guy, right? I'm sending from punk.austingriffith.eth to uh, old, old pinky eye patch. And let's send, what are we going to send? Let's uh, send 500 bucks. Mm, that's kind of scary. Don't delete it. Don't close it. That's ephemeral. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Oh, I did it. It's going. Okay. So now let's talk about the security here. If I close this window, that's going to be gone forever. So I need to be very careful to back up these accounts. And let me show you how to do that. So if I go ahead and let's grab, uh, let's grab old Mohawkey guy here, and let me expose Mohawkey's private key so I know how to save it. So I'm gonna hit, I've got this account selected. I'm gonna reveal private key. There it is. Anybody who scans this with their phone, let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna use my same punk wallet. I'm gonna open up the scanner and I'm gonna scan that. And instead of taking me to a dialog where I send. I've got a Mohawkey, pink Mohawkey there, right there as the account. So, so just by scanning that QR code, now the account's here too. So there's a little bit of backup, right? But what you probably wanna do is throw this like in a password keeper or something like that. Throw, throw this somewhere safe or take a screenshot of this image. Something so you have this private key somewhere that is safe but not exposed. So then if I accidentally close this window, I don't lose everything. But right now we are living on the edge, and if I close this window, I'm gonna lose it all. Uh, but let's go back to Pinky Eye Patch, who now has $500 worth of Ethereum in there. A little scary, a little scary. Not gonna lie, a little scary. All right, let's let's now take that $500 and let's go register an ENS, or let's go buy uh, 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 something on OpenSea, right? So you can go to whatever. Uh, app you want to go to and uh, uh oh is it opensea.io yeah it is okay Whew. and when you log in you'll connect your wallet but instead of connecting your metamask and notice i'm in kind of an incognito window uh to make this easier we're gonna do wallet connect and then what i can do is just open up my scanner on my phone and scan that and i'll log right in uh but instead of scanning it on my phone i'm gonna do it here on the uh, browser just so it sh you see so imagine this is my phone though it's pretend time this is my phone this is my app I want to quickly get in here so I'm gonna just copy this to the clipboard and paste it in here same exact thing as just hitting this scanner button and scanning that but now I'm logged in okay so I'm logged into OpenSea as a uh, old eye patch old pinky eye patch and old pinky eye patch is looking to buy some loogies what kind of loogies do we have on the market? Oh, look at this chubby green boy. This chubby green boy is for sale for $2? What is happening? Okay, we're, we're going to get this. We're going to pick this up. I patch. I think I think it's time for you to buy this 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 uh, chubby green boy. 
There we go. There we go. Confirm checkout. Now what that's going to do is it's going to send uh, to the Wallet Connect servers and then to my punk wallet, hey, do you want to send this transaction? And yes, I do. Ship it. Send it. Boom, 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 boom. We're signing transactions with burner wallets that we don't have backed up. You should have it backed up at home. But what I'm trying to show here is that instead of a super safe hardware wallet, imagine if you had a multi-sig and the signers are very ephemeral. You don't need to send them around. You're scanning them around. Don't scan around like that with the private key. Just generate new ones on all your devices and then have your device ready. Shoot that, that wallet connect QR code, connect right into the app, and then anytime you are gonna be prompted to make a transaction, you just hit yes on your phone, right? So your phone is just a quick, easy signer, and you can add and remove signers from a multi-sig as you need, right? So these, these are quick, easy, good for sending small amounts. Maybe 500 bucks is not the right amount to have in uh, a burner wallet, but hopefully this is helping to show how uh, this transaction can happen. Now, if I just click this, it should take me to an Etherscan link that says, yep, sure enough, our transaction is working. Well, <laughs> we're gonna pay, we're gonna buy that Lugie for $2.93 and we're gonna pay $184 in gas fees. But it's happening. We, we are using a quick and easy web wallet to buy NFTs without a lot of the hassle of hardware wallets and, and other security, but there's a security trade-off there. The thing I'm trying to zoom in on is it's actually kind of worth it to have these quick and easy wallets if we're just sending around small amounts or if we're just signing small transactions. Imagine again, a multi-sig that's a three of five, if this thing goes in the toilet or someone steals my private key, they only have one of five votes and I can vote them out with my other good accounts, you know, pull out the hardware wallet and actually fix stuff up. I think this is going to go through. I don't know how long this is going to take. Let's let's do let's do another one. Let's go to ens.domains and I'm going to go to let's see. Where where is old? Do I have iPatch guy still? No, I don't. I have uh I still have Mohawkey guy. What I can do is just uh, go to the app, again, connect. It's gonna give me that wallet connect code. I'm gonna hit the little scan button in the bottom right. I'm gonna scan that, and now I'm logged in as my phone into here. And let's say I wanna I wanna buy iPatch Dude, iPatch Dude Yes, it's available. Okay, let's get it started. Let's register it for five years, right? And as soon as I hit the register button, it'll prompt me here with, Hey, do you wanna? spend that money and buy that ENS name, right? All quick and fast from my phone, wallet connect up front. It's super easy to send funds. Obviously, I should have probably showed that off first, but it's so easy to just like put this on optimism, select a wallet that I have uh, that has some optimism, put this guy on optimism, uh, and then scan it right just open up now that i love how the scanner turns into a nice red button see that nice red button when we switch to optimism if we switch over to arbitrum or gnosis chain or polygon we're going to get those different networks uh, but i want to go optimism here and i want to just so so show how fast and easy it is i hit scan i scan old ipatchy and i send him five dollars on optimism just like that fast easy no problem, here goes the transaction, sent, and there's the $5. So easy wallets, super forkable. You can go grab this code, fork this, and have this up and running locally very quickly. Uh, you can switch between all the different networks, and it's Wallet Connect up front, so you can connect into your app, any apps that allow Wallet Connect. You can buy NFTs on any of these different networks, pick your network, scan in and you've got yourself uh, an account. So hopefully uh, this dude will eventually buy this this uh, Lugie. I feel like, uh, where is he? Yeah, yeah, it's this guy right here, right? Oh, it's on, just needs to be on Ethereum. We still have our $500. Our, our Lugie hasn't been purchased. Look at this, here's a feature request. How about if we showed transactions very smoothly right here and you allowed me to hit a little button to speed them up, right? Someone forked this and added in. I think that little transaction display is actually gonna be really handy for the multi-sig too. We wanna build one of these where it's just a multi-sig right here where you can add in and remove people quickly from, from our phones and we can all just like vote with our phones super quick. 
So check out punkwallet.io. Check out the code. It's all built with Scaffold ETH. Uh, if you go to Scaffold ETH and search for Punk Wallet, I bet it's right here. Yep, there is the code. All open source, easy to get to. You can fork this. You can make your own wallet. It's going to have Wallet Connect out of the box. It's going to have so many things like uh, the send dialog, right? Let me go here. Let me, let me just type in Vitalik, right? If I type in Vitalik.eth, I get a nice blocky preview i get ens resolution and if i want to send vitalik five bucks it's one button click away so super smooth so man i really wish this loogie would get purchased by the end of the video but i don't think it's going to so i just want to get the word out there punkwallet.io understand the safety understand you've got a private key and local storage but understand that that's really powerful and it's great for using for small amounts of funds and you know one of in signers on on uh, multi sigs where maybe maybe I maybe it's even a delegated multi sig where there's three out of five of us or there's five of us total each of us have our cold account and our hot account right you can have your hot wallet your punk dot whatever your name dot eth and that thing is doing a lot of the signatures. It's like a delegated multi-sig where we just open it up, scan it, hit yes, and we sign the multi-sig transaction. It's so much easier than, than a lot of the other wallets, uh, but less secure, right? It's not as safe. So understand the trade-offs, understand how powerful this is. Go fork the punk wallet, go use the punk wallet, get a punkwallet.io on your phone. If I, if I see you in person and we split a bill and you don't have the ability for me to just send you $25 in optimism, I'm going to smack the phone out of your hand and walk away. <laughs> All right. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Happy Bowtie Friday. Check out, check, check, check out the punk wallet. Hearts, hearts.